okay for today's video i'm using this esp 206 and i have connected a b port charger uh, with with my uh, desktop and your one might have a c port it doesn't matter uh, some versions are a little different from one another but uh, most of them are uh, pretty common and I have programmed it using an Arduino ID you can also use a binary chair, uh, sorry a binary injector for ESP in Arduino ID we use a modified version of C++ which is called scratch programming language to program it and uh, you can literally program it to do anything more like a microcontroller, but uh, this has a uh, built-in Wi-Fi which helps us to do Wi-Fi penetration, uh, penetration testing uh, using this device. So let's connect it with our Android device. So here's, uh, here's it uh, create a point Wi-Fi point for us to connect. So uh, let me pass the password here and connect to the internet. I mean the ESP266 so whenever I connect it uh, goes to a login portal but in the login portal I've created the website to literally just uh, test it I mean the UI so yeah you can see it shows us the live logs and the current networks around us so I wanna uh, check my network which is no internet uh, and yeah I selected it and now I have option to deauth start twin or start jam with a twin attack i can create a duplicate website or oh, sorry duplicate network and whenever try to connect it will ask for a password so we can actually get the real network password so yeah you can see it's asking for password for farmer update so you can even just think i can just put any password but no it not work uh, it would not work it just it will just work um whenever you put the real password of the real uh, Wi-Fi. So it's using a handshake and do to verify if uh, the user is using the real password or not. So you can see it says, says wrong password. So let me put real password. So you can see, I'm gonna type the real password here. Mm -hmm. And there we go. Now it's verifying and it should now connect us to the real network. And in our portal, uh, our ESP portal we will get the, I mean the attacker will get the real, uh, what we say, the password that we put. You can see it connected us to the real network. And let's go back to our ESP8266 server. And in this server, you can see uh, here is the password and we successfully got the password actually over there and and also on our network we can start uh what we say jam attack so it will jam our uh it, mainly what a wi-fi jamming would do so if i just uh click start jam it will start jamming our network and uh it will overwhelm our wi-fi connection uh, that's what i'm doing that's what's doing on my desktop i am unable to uh, use the network also we can attempt a dauth attack using our uh, using our esp266 so i'm selecting my network again and i will start a dauth attack and you can see it's starting uh, it started our dauth attack on channel 3 and yeah so it's bursting our uh, internet and yeah and also i've uh, added a feature so if i just disconnect my network i mean i my wi-fi it will pause the attack but whenever my network gets connected again uh, it will uh, start attacking out again automatically so i can just set up my uh, uh, esp266 and just go so if the victim tries to uh, you know turn off their network and then uh, to and uh, turn on again to fix it won't work so i've disconnected my network uh, my router and you can see it's say uh it's paused the network it says no internet is offline and uh, it has paused the network i mean that attack so let's turn on my router again 
and you can see uh, our network is alive again and it start attacking again uh, this time it's attacking on channel 4 uh, you know whenever we uh, change I mean restart our router it changes the channel so yeah I hope you enjoyed the video it was just for educational purposes only please don't use it against anything dangerous but you know you can just try it on your own network like me go crazy with it experiment with it uh, and uh, ESP8266 is really really cheap uh, you, you can get it under literally just five dollar so it's really cheap really effective and it's really good for learning